My partner, John Ferris, and I were together for 60 years. We were married in May of 2004. He died last August after a 16-year struggle with Parkinson's disease. I was unable to receive his social security benefits, which would be quite a bit higher than my benefits. The difference between his social security and mine would probably pay for my GAP health insurance, which is about $700 a month. Whether I eventually get the benefits in my lifetime or not, somebody in the future may, as things change, the law changes. I think that a legal marriage should be a legal marriage. federal discrimination, but our marriage affects our family security and our financial security. We're losing our, you know, thousands of dollars each year when we file our taxes. Kathy's a stay-at-home mom. That money that we're losing really could be going to our children's our education funds and our family expenses. We feel vulnerable when a law enforcement individual is killed in the line of duty because there are safety nets for other married couples, but not us. There's no education benefit or spousal benefit. If, unfortunately, something happened to Mary, I would get nothing. Marcel and I have been together for 28 years. I have worked for the United States Postal Service for almost 22 years. And when we were able to legally marry, we did in Massachusetts, which is where we've always lived. And I applied for the benefits that any other couple would apply for when they got married, and we were denied. And I just feel that we have a right to have the same benefits as my other married coworkers. We would really like for me to have the opportunity to get onto Nancy's health insurance because right now I have health insurance through my present employer, but it's like we're paying twice for the same thing. She's already paying for a family plan. I think it's around 1500 more a year that we're paying. With me being able to be on her health insurance, we'd just be paying for one plan. Clearly, being discriminated against, we have two children. We have a 16-year-old and we have a 9-year-old. They just want us to be able to have the same rights as every other family.